trying to consider. <laughs> Always do shit at the last minute. I'm um, trying to set up. Uh, trying to set up my headphones. sound <laughs> like that Keep saying stay tuned. Are we are we good? Are we gonna be seeing something? Uh oh. Oh shoot, they didn't even bring the old dude with the glasses to come talk. They just went straight to the content. Is this how they're revealing the console? Kinda like how Xbox revealed their Xbox? Just with this crazy looking demo uh oh we got the triangle button we got the circle <laughs> I'm low-key hype man I'm, 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 I'm low-key hype I really want to see what new shape they picked and We got an idea, we, we've seen the controller, so I really want to see what the console's gonna look like. The controller is like two tone colors, white and black, so I'm kind of hoping the console isn't like that. If it is, I hope it's not the only color concept that's gonna be what you call it. <laughs> what if that's all they showed was just that? <laughs> It'll be so bad. Woo! Yo! Wonder, like, different choices. You know it gets real I when you see that freaking logo, no. boy, and you hear that city. I like the hand with the dog. The audio is good. Okay, y'all just showing us PS4 games. You, me, together, we were destined for something great. Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Oh. Or the... Nah, I don't know that thing. <laughs> Yo, I thought the it was magic. what you call it. I thought it was GTA 6, boy. I, I thought we were trying to get out of this bullshit. I thought it was GTA 4. I mean, 5 is going to be on. You 
sounding more and more Next like gen. a knee eye itch every day. This is the ultimate edition. Or... My job, my score, get your own. We should talk about work. We out here gang banging like it's 91. We all love banks. Get me a DJ. Give me a hand with these bodies. I'm still seeing the PS4 logo. So I'm confused as to what's going on. This cannot be traced back to me. Champagne, anyone? Smash things. So now what? Expanded and enhanced. Coming 21 to PlayStation 5. See? I didn't either do that. Doesn't look as enhanced, but this one owners will get GTA Online free at launch in 2021 starting today. GTA 5 PS4 owners get 1 million in GTA cash every month until GTA. What? Bro, that is fucking. Oh, that's nice, yo. 1 million every month. And then. And then what you call it? You don't have to pay for GTA 5 for the PS5. You just you automatically get the game at launch. That is awesome. Okay, that's a step in the right direction, Rockstar. It was great to kick oh, today great. off with talking. a look back at just some of the seminal moments of the last 25 years. And what better way to bridge our past and our future than with a game that's graced every PlayStation console, Grand Theft Auto. It's been a privilege partnering with Rockstar Games for many years now, and we're thrilled to open today with the news that that partnership will continue with PlayStation 5. Wait, so it's now it just over a year since we began sharing technical details of PlayStation 5, but today's the day that we've been looking forward to for years, when we get to show you just so some of the like games that demonstrate our belief PC that PlayStation 5 mocks Xbox. the biggest generational transition our industry has yet seen. Jesus the content we've curated for today's event showcases how PS5 has inspired developers to create new experiences that are transformative in how they look, sound, and feel. Enough from me. We're going to have the games do our talking. So they're going to show the games first. They're not going to show the console. Ooh, new logo, kind of like how Marvel did. PlayStation Studios. What in the world? A hero is just someone who doesn't give up. Your dad said that. He was Bro, right. This is Spider-Man. Now it's your turn. That's Miles, bro. Go be a hero, Miles. Okay, let's do this. Ooh. Yes, classic suit. Uh oh, is that a cloaking suit? I mean, what you call it? Because it's powers. Oh my god, this is sick, bro. Hey, hey. <laughs> Yo. Holiday 2020, <laughs> bro. This thing's gonna be released with the PS5, bro. <laughs> this is so smart. If they didn't do this for the launch of the PS5, the PS5 was not gonna sell, bro. Oh my god. あの、本当に嬉しいんじゃないかなっていう、ま、キャンペーンモードを中心にしたグランツリスモになってると思います。え、ぜひ楽しみにしていてください。
I'm getting that new logo. Dude, if Spider-Man didn't come out with the launch, I'm telling you, people weren't going to get PS5. Gran Turismo. I mean, I love me a good racing game. That looks good. Told you, Gran Turismo is back. Gran Turismo fans, people that bought PlayStation and just play this game, will be paying for the next generation. Dude, as soon as I seen that map, I was like, are they bringing PlayStation Home back? I was about to pre-order right now. <laughs> Getting hype over PlayStation Home. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, okay, okay, okay. I usually just smack people right in the back of the bumper. Sounds good. Yeah, you can hear the different effect when you go in and out the tunnel. You still get that little warning that tells you to break. I'm not a huge fan, but if it goes on sale, I'll, I'll play it to race. Oh, yeah. another Russian tank game. You all right back there? Didn't finish on it appears four. that the dimensions are collapsing on one another. If we cannot get to... Get to... Right. The ship. I mean, we can't be that far. I have it in my sight. They have found us, Ratchet. How do I steer this thing? Ask nicely. Slow down, please. That's not listening. The dimensions are weakening considerably. I wonder if all the PlayStation exclusive games are gonna have ray tracing support. I mean, I still don't know what you call it. I still don't know if the PS5 is gonna support well, ray it tracing. Is certainly not good. Gameplay is crisp, though. Ratchet, we are too late. Ratchet? Who? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Marcus Smith, creative director at Insomniac Games. The entire studio is so excited to be able to share with you a first ever look at Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, a brand new, full-length, 
interdimensional okay, so adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5. Out. We're doing things the we've PS5. never been able to do before. Like see use dimensional rifts to be able to clank. leap from planet to planet nearly instantly. Or put ray trace reflections on Clank. Ray trace. All of our alien worlds are filled with density and life previously unseen. Plus, Ratchet's all new arsenal is more exciting than ever thanks to the dual sense controller's enhanced feedback. Ratchet and Clank are near and dear to our hearts at Insomniac, and we can't wait to share more with you in the future. But for now, here's another look. Did you see that? Oh, that was cool. Like my ride, bro? That's gonna be confusing. That's time to pull those rifts. It's Ratchet and Clank! Sand shots from above. Nice sand shark! Nice sand shark! My heroes! Was that a kraken? Or at least a very large octopus. See, a game like this, I don't have to worry about any downgrades for the final cut. I mean, the only thing that you have to worry about with a game like this is the amount of content. That's it. You know, this, this is what they really can't, really can't ruin Ratchet and Clank. It's kind of hard. You know, Ratchet and Clank game is a Ratchet and Clank game. And take over the universe again. Yeah. If you guys like the one for the PS4, then you're most likely gonna job. like and play this one. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kinda over at this point. Can we show more? Next game, please. Or show us the console. Again, there's nothing but teasing us with these PlayStation demos. Not showing us the console. God, I can hear my kids. for the PS5 I'm done. no date that was something new that was something I would want to see more gameplay for come on man everyone know what knows what a ratchet and clank game is gonna look like I want to see what that's gonna look like <laughs> especially a dragon fight what is this robot I'm glad I remember to put the headphones on so I can really hear the um, the audio for all these demos and stuff. 
This is like one of those Netflix specials, remember? Uh, what was it? Love, Love Death Robots or something? Definitely for a specific audience. <clears throat> Again, just teasing us, just showing us the logo. 4K Ultra HD Blu ray. <clears throat> Ultra speed SSD. Ray tracing. Okay, ray tracing is confirmed. The dual sense with haptic feedback. I can't wait to see how that controller feels. Adaptive triggers. USB-C port, motion sensor, he's always had motion sensor, headset jack, built-in microphone, 3D audio, Making games used to be about these constant trade-offs between the artistic vision <laughs> and technical limitations. Teasing us, bro. With PS5, we're not going to be burdened like that. We're going to be able to realize our artistic vision a lot better. It's got a ton of horsepower, which oh, is no, very I'm easy to unlock. I'm putting money down that they don't show it. A machine that's really easy to develop on. The PS5 will present a paradigm shift as to what players will come to expect from gaming. Will let us tell stories, make worlds great gameplay that I think will truly captivate the player and really surprise quite a few people. Please take a look at this new franchise for Worldwide Studios coming exclusively for PlayStation 5. What studios? I didn't... Sorry, he was boring me. I was kind of like blocking him out. Over and over... I relive my first moments on this alien planet. Kind of looks like Star Citizen. I feel like they need a Star Citizen Crash. type of game for consoles because the attack. I tried playing it on PC. My Oops. death. Too complex. Crash. The attack. My death. Trapped in this endless cycle. Is no escape. Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow different, as if changing. This world is becoming part of me, infecting my mind, my memories. The longer I spend here, the more I can feel my sanity slip away. But I cannot lose hope. My only choice is to keep fighting. To keep looking for answers. My only hope is to break the cycle. For the cycle breaks me. Oh, 
you can't really draw people into buying next gen with these new IPs that people have no idea, no trust in. Okay. Spider-Man on launch definitely brings them to buy it. God of War. Stuff people are familiar with that is that's good work. I mean shoot, Last of Us. <clears throat> Right, let me see some infamous or something. Is it Tony the Tiger? Oh, that's a little big planet. Stuff that people are familiar with, especially the fanboys of PlayStation. Look at that, we got a little big planet. got a little bit of a fresh feel because it's no longer like that 2D-ish kind of thing. It's got a different camera angle sometimes. Definitely still has the arcade feel. And then obviously you gotta still have what you call multiplayer on there. Or co-op. Yeah, I do that when the console's already out. People already get their hands on it, they're familiar with it. Rocket League meets meets Fortnite. Mm. It's like this car battle royale. I mean, I'll still play it, but this better not be no sixty dollar game. I'll still play it because I like card games and I like what you call it. I like the um, the bumper car type of feel. Okay, we got some abilities in here, some enhancements, some rockets. Is there any range weaponry, or is it just close combat? Destruction All Stars. Like I said, maybe, if it's like a twenty or thirty dollar game, maybe, but definitely not no sixty dollar game. Hello, everyone. My name is Josh Greer. And this is my brother Mike. Minutes into this we're from Ember Lab, a small still, team with a background in film and animation. Still and we're very excited today to share with you the first look at our new game. It's a story full of adventure and charm hey, that has themes of personal is, growth they called it a and redemption. Showcase. So please enjoy. So, I mean, every other conference they had, they said PS5 reveal and no PS5. But this one, 
they put some emphasis on the showcase of games running on the PS5, so. Just wanna let y'all know that. I know you are kind. You sense the power that flows through this land. Yet, you do not fully understand it. We all know who the voice actor that is. <laughs> Driven by the belief that you can help these troubled spirits. But you cannot hide your weakness from me. You have no power here. Gameplay looks good. Breath of the Wild for PS PS5. Y'all keep showing us these shapes, bro. You ever feel like you're just waiting for a sign? To do that thing you've always meant to do. Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. But something's holding me back. Maybe it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. But if we've got nothing else to lose, might as well jump. Okay, this doesn't even look like a game, my guy. This is like Persona 5. This is just... A show from Disney Channel. Hmm. Hi, I'm oh, Lauren Lanning, and I'm here right to now. share with you a game that I've been dying to make. It's an emotionally engaging story where rescuing is rewarding, failure is devastatingly hilarious, and the memories should last you a lifetime. Take a look. Blades. For the fate of your entire people is up to you. Mm. 
Mm. Ooh, like one of them games that in 2021 is gonna be a, uh, or well, whenever it's released, if it's been out for a year, it's gonna be on PlayStation Plus for free. PlayStation 5によって我々の考える東京のビジュアルを実現できました今まで見たことのない東京の魅力を見て聞いて感じることができますこれからお見せするのはゴーストワイヤー東京の世界初のゲームプレイ動画ですスーパーナチュラルでミステリアスな東京そこに潜む脅威と美しさを感じ取っていただけると思いますぜひお楽しみくださいうん。Fight when others won't. It's up to you to save Tokyo. Oh, this is gonna be in first person. Ugh. <sighs> So far, PlayStation has only got a good reaction from me when it came to Spider Man Miles Morales. That's it. Y'all have my attention when y'all show me the console. When y'all show when, when you already showed me Spider Man, show me God of War, Infamous. Yeah, Ghostwire. They showed a cinematic trailer years ago. Um. Oh, Bethesda. Show me somewhat a smidge of backward compatibility, at least with the PS4 games. Um. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking they're not gonna do that. Because why show us um, Grand Theft Auto V Enhanced Edition free with the uh, launch, uh, well no not the launch, but free with the PS5 when it launches, not when the PS5 launches, but when that edition launches. And then for PlayStation users, giving you one mil every month. So do I have to log into the game? Or can I just wait till December to log into the game and get well, how long is what you call it? What is that like? Seven. Wait, when's it start? Is it starting right now? Look at the the one mil. Is it starting right now? From now until when the game is launched for PS5. <sighs> Bruh, come on, man. I wasn't even yawning during. Whatever event Xbox did showing that, that was just third party showcasing. That wasn't even their exclusive studios. 
this is a, a mixture, but mostly PlayStation Studio. Really? That's the crap you're gonna launch with the console? That game? Spider-Man, yeah, but come on, man. You guys gotta give us what you call it. You guys gotta give us some either good known IPs or, sell, or, or a variety of IPs, such as a campaign, what you call it, and then have something that has campaign and multiplayer, have something strictly multiplayer, racing. Oh, this is the, the slasher looter. I mean, you can't really say, you can't really judge the look of it because I don't have, this what you call it, isn't, the event is not running in 4K. Not running 4K, it's not running 60 frames, no ray tracing, even if it was, I don't, my PC doesn't support it. So, look at me now, me the song. So give me the, give me the crown, mate, wait for the Ooh, I like that. <laughs> My boy slid out the way. We're not the same. We're not the same. We're not the same. We run everything. We're not the same. We're not the same. They ain't got us running through these things. Make way for the king. Holiday 2020. Okay, so now we got the what you call it. We got the... The looter multiplayer game. So now we got Spider Man, which is a campaign game. Then you got another campaign game for what you call it, um, Ratchet and Clank. Then you got that for the multiplayer game. Then you got the racing game. Oh my god, this is torture, bro. Like a showcase like this for next gen, you have to give me 50 50. That's half trash games and then half, oh my god, I want to buy this game. This looks like what's it called? This looks like a, a sequel to a Journey. Forty-three minutes. And so far, the only good-looking thing was Spider-Man, and then yeah, Godfall is yeah, it's still too soon to say. Really, they're gonna showcase Hitman? Now the new Hitman's definitely look good. It was always gonna end like this. And are definitely brutal. All your hard work, all your sacrifice. I want to see some gameplay. Screw the cinematic. I sped up the process. Pretty much right after the what you call it, 
right after its launch holiday. Hacker Nabrak here from Ion Tractive. I want to see some free, gameplay Agent for him, man. Come on, is man. Back for his most intimate and professional contract in his entire career. This is also the dramatic conclusion for the World of Assassination trilogy. I'm so proud to be here to present a little glimpse of the gameplay where Agent 47 is on top of the world in Dubai. Enjoy. The initial gameplay. Dude, you way too close to that edge and ain't no safety rail. Yeah, that's an accident waiting to happen. Uh-huh. This game better take advantage of all the specs for the PS5. Ray tracing, 4K, 60 frames, maybe even 120 frames. All them special features in your controller. Really? They're going to show us the UI? <laughs> so they teased this with the UI. And they're what you call it, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They're not going to show you the console, bro. And if they do, it's going to be at the last, last second. Cause they know no one will watch this. If they just showed the console in the beginning, they'd be alright, boom. I'll just watch the trailers of the game later tonight. I just want to see what the console looks like. Because I want to see who got it as close as possible, if not right. Who got it right? Because I've seen a lot of 3D models, a lot of patents, and I just want to see who was the closest. Or who was right, who actually leaked the look of the console. And it was, uh, it was right in front of us the whole time. Like, this is like a little silly cartoon game, but this is one of those games that probably have a lot of detail and transparency because I'm seeing a lot of different type of action and different type of scenes and combat. I feel like what you call, I feel like the old guy is the guy you're actually playing as. And these are adventures of stories that he's writing. I feel like he's an author or something. Yeah, little devil inside. What's up everyone? I'm Zion Williamson of the New Orleans Pelicans. Here we go. The first ever teaser for NBA 2K21. Y'all are not ready for this. It's not gonna look any special. It's not gonna be a big graphical change. 
Just a new story, bro. Mm -hmm. Trying to bring you down, but for real, you might as well Jump give up track. now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. I'm the first one in and the last one out. Whoever owns got the place got me out. On the sweat dripping in the game, but that's not in game. That's not gameplay. This is just alpha footage. I don't make a sound when I strike. You better just. Wasn't gameplay, bro. Run for your life. Talking about y'all not ready for this. I feel like that was a teaser. I feel like that that's gonna be what to call um, the little imprints of the logo that's gonna be on the console. So kind of like how the Xbox One S had the. The openings, the little holes for the ventilation all stuff, that's what they're going to have. Because none of the PS4s had any type of ventilation. They were just all just pieces of plastic snapped together and they didn't even think about the cooling. A very recently discovered species. So I feel like the PlayStation is going to look like the Xbox oh, One S this one's live, with the PlayStation logo. Because all they said was, it looks nothing like the Xbox Series oh, X. And it's like, duh. How would you copy them? That's stupid. Welcome it's probably going to look like the Xbox One S. Jeez, now I just want this thing to go to the end already. My invitation is open. Come join me on the island of Bucks. <sighs> Liz! Liz, I, um, I was trying to carry a lamp with my weenie hands, but I dropped it, and uh, now the town's on fire. Oh, again? What's up with these guys' hands turning into food? What the heck? And it's called Bug Snacks. These little, what you call, these little kitty games that are a waste of my time. These look like Switch games, bro. Leave that to the Switch. Like the only kitty game we should have is Little Big Planet and Ratchet and Clank. Teaser. Hi everyone, thank you for being with us today for this very special event. But before we get to the end of the show, I have something very near and dear to me. Better be a open world game. That's one of the genres that they should have on what you call it. And Spider-Man, eh, it's not open world. It's more like just open city. But they need an open world adventure game, especially since we're years away from Elder Scrolls coming out or any of the IPs that Bethesda is working on, especially the new space IP.
look like the game. So, you know how they showed the uh, the in engine for the look like at yeah the in engine. Am I saying it right? The engine four, the Unreal Engine four demo that they showed for PS4. Where that you saw that Destin that fireballs nice come out and stuff. That's what that looked like. It looked like they finally Assassin's finished the game. <laughs> in a time loop. This is our unique vision. What Arkane is all about. Freeform immersive gameplay. A surreal player-driven story smashed together. Want to see some stylish action? Check this out. Nails until again. Mandatory. The real party doesn't start until he's dead. Uh, she is not making this easy. Who the heck is this? Okay, bodies disappear. Got abilities. This looks like uh, what you call it? Um, what's that Bethesda game? It's cold. Hope you're ready to lose. Ooh. Okay. Die. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, loot powers. This is a Bethesda game. Good morning, Black Reef. Another day, another death. Our time loops fun. I'm trying to look up the game real quick. For everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. A never-ending party. Where hunting me is the main attraction. And no matter how I try to escape, they always cut me down. But I'm one stubborn motherfucker. Dishonored. This feels like a Dishonored game. Dang, he's like, Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Every loop, I'm learning a little more, piecing together the puzzle. There's eight targets, and they all gotta die before midnight. There's just one little snag. You thought it was going to be easy? Juliana Blake. Black Reef's protector and a real pain in my ass. She may kill me a million times, but eventually, inevitably, I will break this fucking loop. So the assassins NPCs or are they real people? I don't like watching you die. I like killing you. There's a difference. Yeah. I mean, Bethesda games, you never know what you're really gonna get. I mean, the only thing that could be hyped for is Elder Scrolls, and not Elder Scrolls Online. Um, and then Fallout, now, 76 just gave me a bad taste in my mouth with Fallout. So. Says the games are kind of like worth Long ago, a young waiting a little longer for till they're on sale. But the forest greeted them with a dark So far, these Sony games are trash, man. Excluding Spider Man. 
Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch. I mean, I know most of these are third party, but so far, every game besides Spider-Man that I've seen the new PlayStation Studio logo, it's garbage, it's has me yawning. Tale. You're really into that stuff. Quit being so paranoid. No, no, friendly, friendly. Who are you? Uh, how'd you not get shot? They're coming. Who is? Hard game. Knew it. <laughs> knew it, knew it, knew it. I was like, Sorry, this has to be a Resident Evil game. Why? Oh my god. You guys are doing good with the Resident Evil remakes, but these new ideas for Resident Evil are just garbage, man. I mean, don't even what to call it. Don't even call them 7 and 8. Just from now on, if they're going to look like that, just call them Resident Evil VR. Because that's what it's focused around. <laughs> that's the only... What is this? Like, those games only look good in VR. And are scary in VR. But what the heck is this? <laughs> this is like some advanced warfare type crap. Okay, now this is like some division crap. It's like division space force. What the heck is this? So we had to make cats more boring by making them digital. Sky because that thing just broke through the sky. What is that? Mm. Freedom. Our freedom. God, that is... I thought Death Stranding trailer was confusing. God, that was confusing. Okay, are we going toward the end, my guy? Because you're either going to show us this console or not. I 
another teaser of the console. So we're going to have the logo with the little accent of RGB light, just like the DualSense. Okay, this should be a good game. As soon as they show that Sony Interactive, blah, blah, blah. Kind of looks like Uncharted. The old ones perished a thousand years ago. Their great cities. Horizon. Turned to grace. As soon as she said the old ones. In their place came new life. Island now? I must find a way to stop it. Or it will get worse and worse. There's nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. No depth I won't explore. Okay, she has an underwater exploration. No secret I won't unlock. No barrier. I won't cross. Dang, now we're going to the desert? Okay, there's gonna be a little bit more traveling in this one. And back to the snow. If I snow. falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop. Damn, the Golden Gate coming. Bridge. How about in this one, we make it so that she can fly one of those things? Forbidden West. But whatever comes. I will be ready. Mm -mm. Nice trailer. Or like to see at least two minutes of On behalf of the entire team at Guerrilla, we're happy to share the first look at Horizon Forbidden West. We're continuing Elga's story as she moves west to her far future America. To brave a beautiful but dangerous frontier masked with mysterious new threats. Get ready to explore distant lands ravaged by massive storms. And take on new powerful machines as you return to the majestic world of Horizon. Stay tuned for much more. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it. Bro, I was looking for gameplay, and now we got to see all these faces. For the community. I think fans are going to be really pleased. As a game designer and storyteller, this is incredibly exciting. We're talking a whole new generation of ideas and experiences that we can create for the player. No matter where they are, no matter who they are. New experiences like we've never had before. More iconic, interesting characters. More atmospheric, immersive worlds for players to explore. We want to wow players. Expect the unexpected. And I, for one, can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait to share them with you. It's so exciting. Incredibly exciting. It's really about As a developer, that's an amazing feeling to have. Welcome to PlayStation 5. Finally, gonna show it.
PlayStation 5, that door, that black door right there. You see it, bro? Come on, man. Oh, get the hell out of here. That's the PS5? Oh, no way, bro. Those look like one of those concept arts that they made when the PS3 and the PS4 were coming out. Remember those ridiculous shapes? Dude, when I tell you the PS5 is going to be a stupid shape. So now, whoever made those dumb concepts for PS3 and PS4, they finally hired them to make the PS5. <laughs> oh my god, let me take this in, bro. Let me just take this in, because it seems like it, it it's a tower. L l let's not... Let's not get confused. That's a tower. There's no way you can lay that flat. You see how the sides are curved? There's no way you can lay that flat. That's a tower. It has to stand up like that. So it's not versatile at all. Okay, unless it's just the 3D model that's making me look like it's curved around the edge and that it can lay flat because it can't. That... <laughs> I can't believe that's the PS5, bro. If I go right here and Google these weird concepts that people made for the PS3 and PS4 before anyone knew what it looked like, that's what I would find. That crap. So I can I can see how that's like the ventilation. I can see it improving the cooling system. But what the heck is with that shape? And is that what you call it? Are those buttons on the bottom? And is that one USB 2.0? Let me rewind this. Is that a USB 2.0 and a USB-C? You see the ventilation. buttons okay I guess it's flat on that side my, my dude is texting me I got I got to see it physically not just this concept thing. I'm glad they're zooming in on the detail. Yep, that's USB that's a USB C. They're selling two models. What did I tell you? <laughs> Digital edition and are you serious? Bro, people laughed at Microsoft for the digital console and now they're doing the digital edition and why people say oh my god it's so great it's so efficient oh my god it's, it's amazing look the new cameras the docking station the headphones media controller now the headphones and the docking station i tell you they can make some good docking stations if that camera is trash i swear to god because the ps4 camera is trash we hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of our future today You've seen our most striking console design yet, and you've seen games that can only be enjoyed with the full I don't want to hear shit for people that buy the PS5 digital and talk about what you call it, talk about the Xbox digital that they came out with. And you guys like, that's stupid. We want you to enjoy the unique benefits of moving from one generation to the next. Thank you for joining us. We're launching later this year, and we have tons more to share. Welcome to PlayStation 5.
That's the only game I'm hyped for is Spider-Man, bro. They didn't show no God of War. They didn't show any new Infamous. All these other things are crap titles. Spider-Man Horizon. That's it. I will be ready. And then Godfall if it's good. Charging station though for the controllers, what you call it? Crisp. Because they always have good docking stations for the controllers. The PS4 docking station, I love it. But that camera, that camera looks cheaper than the camera that they have for the PS4. That game with uh, what you call it, the girl that was grabbing things with the vines. I want to see what that game is. Everything else I do not care about. Good lord. That is it. That was the showcasing. Look at this. this is Marvel. Is that it? Got the stupid Marvel thing at the end. Alright, I'm not going to pause it just in case they do a little teaser at the end. But those are my reactions that this sony showcase this they finally showed the ps5 and i can see why they put it off for so long because they didn't know what the hell they were going to make it look like and that just looks like what you call it. that looks like they took all the concepts from when people were uh, were, were making fan based consoles back for when they heard the ps3 was coming out and the ps4 and they just collabed all that together into this funky shape and then, not only that, but made a digital, I, I told you, I told, I bet money on it. I said that they were going to make, okay, that was it. That they were going to make, they were going to release more than one console, especially launch day. Okay, they did the same thing with the pro and slim version of the PS4, but boom, they doing it for next gen. And it's an all digital, just like when people made fun of Xbox for doing the all digital Xbox ridiculous but this is my reaction video i just wanted to record my reaction and want to record this whole event because wow that is ridiculous but i can't wait to share this video